Your last name is going to kill you, right? Kelly, yeah. All How right. do you pronounce your first name? Amethyst. Amethyst. Yeah. Can you like give me like approximate uh, a dollar value? Like about eight hundred thousand to a million dollars worth of jewelry. Eight hundred to a million. It's all insured, but okay. yeah. Two nights ago, they came and robbed this house and took a bunch of jewelry. I have it on my security camera footage. I was at home. So basically, on Thursday night, I was here by myself. My boyfriend, who I live with, he records music. He's an artist, and he went to the studio. I was here downstairs in our basement with my friend, and about three hours after he had left, I heard footsteps walking across the front of our house. You can literally see that, right? Yes, you can see his gun. I did. He's walked up there. He walks up there. He has his gun like this, the gloves. You can see him up there. This, he was... Really? Yes. Great. Gloves on, mask on. Same walking up the stairs with his gun cocked up. My sister and my girl was because she pregnant and my sister was in it. The only reason why he didn't see us is because I was in here. See? Boss man, come here. Come see the shit. I was in this. Okay. I will be right back, okay? Thank you. Bye. 321 to video. Can you raise supervisor for two? Sergeant Jackson, can you talk? A few nights ago, there was a burglary in a house. There is no enforced entry. The door was unlocked. The person went in, took a jewelry, and in the house was a person downstairs in the basement. She heard the footsteps and all that stuff, but clothes are missing. And she showed me the video, video surveillance that the guy was with the hoodies and all that stuff. And then they, they think that he wasn't with the gun. That's all I have now. Two nights ago, yes. Big, 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 big house. But they are musicians, and the owner of the house was out. And I think girlfriend was sitting uh, on the downstairs because downstairs is made like for theater and everything. She thought that he came back home, but that was actually a burglary. And who took it? The jewelry, a lot of jewelry. Yeah, I asked that. I asked that. She said that him just discovered just recently because he was out of town due to uh, business, whatever. And when he came back today, he, you know, find out that the jewelers are missing. And then she checked her purse as well, and then she find out that she's uh, uh, her purses. So they just find out today. Yes, she 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 showed me that a video. There's a video uh, on the 14th. Okay. okay, I thought you said that they, that they saw him. They, so they found out today that they Yes, that's yes. There's a one person. The perp was waiting. Yeah, uh, I, I don't. I can't see it clearly, but they saw and they they think that he wasn't wearing a gun and gloves as well. Yes, only jewelries, a lot of jewelries. Now uh, they make a list and give me like approximate price. But according to the cars, Lamborghinis and all the uh, crazy crazy cars, you can see that probably it's going to be a lot. No, 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 just the jewelers. But what I'm saying is, I told them to make a list. But I believe it's going to be a, a, a big, big figure because you can see that, you know, they are rich or whatever. It was on the second, it was on the first floor. On the table, there's a big, huge table with a bunch of bags. And that's what the jewelry were, were, were taken from. How, how they get into the house? The house was from the back door. The, the door was open. Unlike because she was in the house, in the downstairs, in the basement. There's no forceful entry or bro broken into. The, the, the door was unlocked. Yeah, that's what she says, uh-huh. Sounds good to me. All right, sorry. Hey. Yeah, so, uh, did you guys make a list? I'm making a list of all my stuff, and I think he has a list of Can his. you, like, give me, like, approximate uh, a dollar value? Like, about 800000 to a million dollars worth of jewelry. 800 to a million? It's all insured, but okay. yeah, about that. Yeah, so I would say this, don't touch, um, wipe the, uh, those handles off, although we touched, you touched, yeah, yeah but then, uh, so I think they're going to they're gonna raise the crime scene and everything, because yeah. it has to be, since it's a... Uh, I mean, he was touching those windows out there, you So, the so we're talking food. like $800,000 to a million. Yeah. million, so make a list, I'll be right back, okay? Uh -huh. So, so the dollar amount is we talking eight hundred thousand dollars slash one million. That's what she said. Road north west. Uh, sorry. By the way, the uh, the gate code. I made this list. This is a list of all my stuff that was there, and then I'm gonna make one of his stuff. And he makes his. Yeah. 
but this my is sorry. my right but my sarge is on the way okay back to here and then all that stuff's insured so seven diamond turns of band rings yeah bunch it's like just rings and bracelets mm -hmm. and necklaces this is here right yeah all right can i see your driver's license mm -hmm. and then his as well okay yeah for, for the uh, for the for the report Hotel. We didn't sleep here last night. Uh -huh. But I have a picture of his license on my phone. Good. Um, uh, what I was. Do you, do you remember? Uh, he said something about the cl clothes. What was in the name of that? He kind of mentioned not a hoodie, but something else. Oh, what the guy was wearing? Yeah. I don't know. He would know because he's he into clothes. I, I'll ask him. Yeah. Can I see your Yeah, this is mine. Sorry. Um, okay. Just okay. going nowhere. But so at this point of time, we have two victims, right? You and him? Yeah. Okay. Here's his. Okay, that's George Ray. So. Yeah. Let me do him first. So, Carter Jordan. Yeah. Two. So. But we rent this property. We don't own it. Some drive for the investigator. Did you, did you put everything? Yeah, I just good, 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 good. It can only you have to use a Windows computer though. What's that? You got to use a Windows, not a Mac. The Windows uh, okay. to view this file. Oh, uh, Mac, right? No, Windows. No. This no. is Windows, not Mac. Okay, so that's important to yeah. mention. So. <laughs> yeah, you have to use a Mac, uh, Windows computer to, to uh, for this uh. to be compatible. Because that's what the kind of computer that's downstairs. Your last name is going to be Kelly, right? Kelly, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the last name. Kelly. How do you pronounce your first name? Amethyst. Amethyst. Yeah. Amethyst. E T H Y S T. So your address well, as of your out license, we're gonna put this. Yeah, that's still side. my that's my accountant, like where I do all my accounting bills go to, so it's still a relevant address for me. Okay. Is that a side I don't know who's in that car. It might be his brother, maybe. Uh, jewelry. He did make one, but I can't see where How you going? That's going to be a long list. How you going? Oh, sir? It is going to be a very long list. Call who? Well, it's all on his insurance, but he has two different insurance policies because there was too much jewelry for it to be covered over one policy, so I'm waiting for Aaron to get that proper list, and I can give... I am waiting for my accountant to send me, like... I can, I'll give you guys the proper, like, diamond weight and all of that stuff in case any of it shows up. Because a lot of it is custom pieces that you would be able to actually identify if someone sold them or something. Now let's wait till you're Sarge, and yep. we're almost done with, so he's making his list. Yeah. And I have yours list. Yeah, and then I can do the proper detail list probably later today in an hour or two of the actual insurance, like evaluation of all the jury. But I know that that's. Oh, by the way, uh, maybe in your report will be probable to put the proper to put the insurance information. No, we'll see what's what's gonna. Okay. Ugh. Put everything in a bag and took it to the jewelers to get cleaned, and then it all fucking got stolen. Yeah, yeah, you know, it just that's what happens because I think that it was the man that he had in the house earlier that day because that man had never been here before. It was his first time ever in the house, and then they all left together to go to the studio, and that happened about two hours later. So I think that it was that guy because he. Otherwise, how would you know the bag was in that room specifically? Could have been in any room of the house, but mm. that's the that's where he left it when he walked out and that man saw but the man he said that man was with him at the studio but he still could have called someone or told them to come here 
They yeah, definitely but, knew to go in that room, though. It's, it's, it can be, I mean, it can be there, but, um, you know... Because there's so many other valuable things in our house, and they didn't take anything. And there was also another diamond chain that I have that obviously isn't on there, but it was sitting on the table right next to the bag and stuff, and they didn't even take that. They just took the bag. And also, that room is full of stuff that's worth money, like all of those Louis Vuitton duffel bags and things in there. It's full of stuff that a robber would take, but he didn't take any of it. He just took the bag. You know, at this point of time, it's up to investigate, investigators, investigators. Yeah, they can figure it out. Because, you know, we... Right. Um, I don't know. I'm just glad I was downstairs. Yeah. I mean, it's just a... It's, it's crazy that it's, it's, it's gated you know, everywhere. I don't know. Well, I just assumed it was him because, the, you know, you have to buzz that gate to get in, and that's hard to jump over. It's a pretty high fence. So I thought he had just let himself in and forgotten something, grabbed it, and got, drove, up, drove away back to the studio. But I think he must have jumped the fence. I wonder if any of the other neighbors have any street views, because I know that that property across the street directly from us without driveway is a church. So they church. I'm 100% sure that yeah, gate yeah. was closed, though. Yeah, even if it's closed, yeah. even if it's open, yeah, you know, there's, there, there, there are a lot of... Yeah. Other ways they could have jumped through, yeah. Even that fence. Yeah, they could have gone on that fence. I think they have a gate over there. Maybe they could have walked up there. They are your neighbors, right? Yeah. This tree is so old. I know. I'm always worried in a storm that a branch is going to fall off it onto my car. But it doesn't. It's probably. Maybe like 50 or 60 mm -hmm. years old. That house next door there is 100 years old. Wow. I've never even seen a person there. I assume someone's alive. I've never seen any. No, even moving. You know, cars. Nothing. I just know from the owners of this property, you know, I asked, like, so who are the neighbors? What are they? What's their deal? And they told me all about them. Yeah. I've met those guys, though. I see them all the time because they get in their cars. That's why I've left this one because it's technically on their property, so I'm like, I don't even want to deal with the headache of... Well, then there's a light and see if it lights, right? No, yep, there's lights and then it's same with that one, or I would cut the branches. But just like at night, it'll probably be beautiful, right? When it turns on like it's supposed to. <laughs> I think that they've been wired for so long, they're just like, they're funny. Some days when it's raining and stuff, they just don't turn on. Hmm. And I don't even want to have to deal with fixing them because they're, you know, they're everywhere. And they're so high up. Have to get someone to climb off the tree. And... I was going to do Christmas decorations, but now he wants to move, which I kind of understand. To move. Yeah, he doesn't think it's secure, which I guess it is. If someone can come. Yeah, he mentioned the uh, that they're going to secure the property, and I think uh, they're going to the, uh, do. Uh, fingerprints and everything, because that's just a, it's just a um, mm -hmm. procedure. But, Hi, I cannot pronounce your uh, your name. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm Michael, and I'm the one who sells the uh, Lexus RX 300, the white collar, and uh, an auto trader that you're interested in. My name is Debbie. Yeah. Miss Debbie. 94, hold me out with 201. Say that one more time. Three two. Good one. Then making a list. This is her belongings. And they're trying to make a list for himself. So, so this is a total of 366? And then he's also, he's making up, uh, he's just making a list. So, so how, how do you to 800,000? She she told me the combined is going to be 8 slash a million. Alright, show me uh, how to get in. And so, and, and, and where is the camera at? Is there like a the surveillance on the back of the house or something? The guy came like this, this way. Here's the camera. Is the guy on foot? 30 till 2 on get modified. And it went here, the door was open. And like. 2704, that's not modified. So he went this way, he believes he, he got a gun. Yeah. Come in. Yeah. yeah. 
So now the shoes are front, so we can see what he got in. Well, let's, let's double check that. For real, are you sure about that? Oh, is that what she told you? Fuck. Do you, do you guys have a working camera that shoots the front and all? Can like, is there anything, 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 any way we can know what, like what he left in? Because I'm sure you get it. Is there, is there any kind of cameras? That, yeah, any cameras that shoot outside in the front? Um, because we need to know if what he what he left the scene in. You know what I'm saying? He didn't walk. He don't live around no, here. Not. Yeah. Well. So um, he had to be in the car, and it's a long. You know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's, I don't stay with my brother. I stay on the south side. I got you. Yeah. Let me ask you a quick question. This ain't got nothing to do with this. So, ride down the highway. They doing construction work. One of the cones fall on my car, scratch my car up. It's two in the morning. They got all the police lined up. They got people out there working on it. So, like DOT construction? Exactly. So it's dark. I don't see the stuff on there. I get it. Wake up in the morning, scratch it up. Is there anything I can do about that? Yeah, yeah. Follow the police report. So let them come to the house. And yeah. Well, you need to go back to where you were though, because it may be a jurisdiction from different jurisdiction from where you live, mm -hmm. unless you live really close to where that. It's in Fulton County. Right, but like, well, you know exactly. Oh where yeah, you yeah it's up the street from my house. Yeah, it's definitely up the street from my house. Then yeah, yeah, yeah but ideally, you want to be back, go back to the scene, but you can't necessarily go back to the highway. But you can identify as long as you can identify exactly where the construction was, mm -hmm. which they should be, they should be to easily tell you, you know, or verify where it was, or whatever. Uh, what well, found in car and, and have a report done. Right. Um, and well, that's what I actually got in the shop now. Got no cameras facing the street. No, nothing facing the front of the house, like the not like the front, like the. The little parking area in the front, like where my car is right now. Nothing up there. Okay. I got you. Okay, we just, we just want to be, just want to double check. Appreciate you. Yeah. Every single one of them. It's a lot. So, I know. It's all jewelry, right? Yeah, it's all jewelry. So, okay. We don't, want, we don't need to raise a, a ID and all those stuff. Not if he had on gloves. I mean, it's nothing for them to really to fill in the process. Uh, it looks like he came in. They we know where he was going to get his stuff done and left. So, there just isn't much we can do. You know that they can do with that. Um, if they're saying he's, uh, I, I can't tell, but, um. But it's just a billboard, right? Is it, uh, is it, is that a billboard? Yeah. Um, uh, 42, without forceful entry, entry. Yeah, the, the, I mean, still he entered, he didn't, you know, if there's, like, the door was unlocked, just put it in the 17, they leave the door unlocked so he has access to it. Um, and so it's, it's probably someone that knows him that that door was unlocked. You saw in the flash that. I cannot be able to see whether whether he had a gun or gloves, but if they believe, they, they say that's what I have to put it. No, you just you can just put it there that they, they thought that the person may be armed. I didn't see a gun either, but they're saying by the, by the way he gestured, which makes sense. He's got on, if he's got on skin and jeans or whatever, they may have been carrying a weapon. That's possible. Possible. Um, but, you know, I didn't see a gun. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm sorry. All right. Let's make it out of this. And, uh, yeah, I, I'll look at it. Yeah, but all every piece of their property that's on there, you got you got to do a property module for it. That's um, that's uh. Yeah, they usually. I'm trying to do it in between regular and split. Um, they usually. So the property, every single one of them, with the price happened. and everything. Yeah, if we got a price and do it, do it, do it as, as they wrote it. There's a lot of observation for this one. It's not just like a regular 42. Well, just because of the dollar value. So I mean, it's it's the the reason I came out is because you said it was. Eight hundred thousand to a million dollars, so yep. that's why I, I responded out here. Um, but you know, I, I guess there must be entertainment, entertainment business, or whatever. Um, and he has a lot of flashy stuff like that, so it's plausible that he has stuff was there and it was taken. Somebody took it. We gotta take the seventeen for it. Okay. <laughs>